Welcome to Fun Keys for Kids, piano and music lessons. Hey guys, it's Lucy from Fun Keys. Today we're going to be learning how to play a spooky Halloween song, just in time for Halloween. But before we do that, please make sure to like this video, comment on this video and subscribe to us and turn on the notification bell so you can see all of our other videos and be notified every time we post something new. Done that? Great stuff. Okay, let's get cracking. So before we play this song, there's going to be a couple of things we need to know first. The first thing we need to know is what is the time signature and which hand do we play with? Now the time signature is 4-4, four, four, which means that there are four beats per bar or four crotchets per bar. So the rhythm goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is what we call straight time, okay? Remember that. The next thing we need to know is which hand do we use? Now, as this song is in the treble clef, we are going to use our right hand for the whole song. Okay, there we go. There's our time signature and which hand we're going to use. The second thing we need to know is about flats. Now, you may have heard this before in some of our previous videos, but our flat keys are the little symbols that look like a B, the letter B, before a note. Now this means that we have to play the black keys. There are a lot of E flats in this song and there is one A flat. So we're gonna look at where they are now before we do it. So the E flat, I need you guys to find E. There we go, easy peasy. From there, to find a flat key, all you do is go down or to the left to the nearest black note. And there's your E flat. So we go to E, go down to the left, and there's your E flat. Do the same thing with A, we're going to find A, and then we're gonna to go to the left or down to A flat. There you go. So you've got E flat and A flat. Now, just remember, you do not play the E and then the flat key. You only play the flat key on its own. This is a common mistake I see in class sometimes. So we want to make sure that we do not play the white key as well. We just play the black key. So if I said play an E flat, you go. And then if I said play an A flat, you play the A flat. Just like that. Okay, great. Okay, so let's get on with playing the song. So I need you guys to get your right hands and we're going to start on middle C here the green key. The first two notes we're going to play are C and E flat. Easy peasy. Then we're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to continue up to G. Now the rhythm for that section goes a little bit like this. We've got two minims, which are two two beat notes, and then we've got a crotchet, another crotchet, and then another minim. So it sounds like this when you put it at speed. There you go. So we go. Minim, minim, crotchet, crotchet, minim. There's your first five notes. Okay, so the next line, we have to jump all the way up to this E flat here. So we just played this E flat, but now we're going to jump up an octave or eight notes up to this E flat. All we do on this bit is we play E flat, D, C, then we jump down to G, and then finally to F. So we start way up high, E flat, D, C, G, F. And the rhythm for that is crotchet, 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 and then we have a semi-breathe, which is four beats. It's a super duper long note. So we have to go one, two, three, four. Okay. So if we pop those two first phrases together, it'll sound a little bit like this. So it goes. C, E flat, C, Let's do it one more time, but don't forget guys, if you don't get something first time, you can pause this video and rewind so you can rewatch it, okay? 
Great. Let's try those first two phrases again a little bit quicker and then we'll continue. Okay, after three, after four. Ready? One, two, three, four. C, E flat, C, E flat, G, E flat, D, C, D, F, two, three, four. Great stuff. Remember, pause and rewind if you need to. Okay. The next four notes we play, we're still playing up here where that E flat was, but we're starting on a D this time. And we're going to play D, then we're going to jump down to that A flat key. So find A and then go to the flat key just below it, the black key. So you're going to do D, A flat, then continue down to G, then to F. So we go D, A flat, G. And then G, E flat, C. So this line pretty much just descends because we start on the D, we go down, we go a little bit up and then we come back down again, all the way down to that middle C, okay? So the rhythm for this section is D, D, A flat, G and F are all crotchets. And so is G and E flat. And then we've got a minim on the C. So it goes one, 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 two. Yeah. So D, A flat, G, F, G, E flat, C. Great. And the final part is D, E flat, C nice and simple so those d flat and the d flat and the e flat are both minims one two one two and then the c is a semi brief which is four beats remember one two three four okay so if you put those final two lines together it will sound a little bit like this ready let's count ourselves in one two three four There you go, there's the final two lines. Remember, pause the video and rewind if you need to. Okay, what we're gonna do to finish this video then is to pop everything together all at once now. So we're gonna start from the beginning. I will say all the notes um, and I will keep a steady beat going, keep the click going. And then we'll play it one more time without the click um, and me saying the notes, okay? Are we ready? After four. One, two, three three, four, C, D e flat, C, E flat, G, E flat, D, C, G, F, D, A flat, G, F, G, E flat, C, D, E flat, C. There you go. How did you do? Did you do it? If not, do not panic. You can go back and rewind, as I've said. So if you didn't get that time, have a go. Try it and slow down. You can slow down the video at the bottom right on settings. So if you do that, you can start um, a half speed and work your way up. Okay, we're going to do it one more time this time, but I am not going to say the letters. I'll still keep the click going just so we stay on time. But see if you can follow. Okay, ready? After four. One, two, three, four. that is our spooky song now as you can tell the use of the flats do make it sound very very spooky and that's because we are playing in a minor key now a minor key if you don't know what that is means that it sounds very very dark and mysterious and we usually use minor keys to um portray a kind of somber mood or a sad mood or something like that and so that's why for this piece we have lots of those e flats and the a flat in there Okay, guys, enjoy practicing. I'd love to hear how you all get on. Um, but yeah, that's how to play our spooky song. Have a great Halloween and we'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>
Want to teach your kids piano and music at home? Well, you can. Buy our funky flashcards for nursery kids and for school kids. You can also join one of our courses if you check out our website. Follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn.